Even when there are setbacks, you must continue. I am a monster. all those strips and I sewed them into two, so three little strips per long strip, and now I'm going to pleat them all down so that they can go on the side of my jacket. So I have my iron here, and I'm going to pleat. I don't know if you can hear my iron, but it's making an awful noise. So I will pleat iron and then pin each pleat down as I go and I will just do that over and over again and then I'll take it to my machine, sew the pleats down and then hand sew it to my jacket. Okay, so I finally got this guy down. He's real misshapen in some spots, but hopefully when I get to hand sewing, I can finagle that a little bit better. But so I have one strip down. I had to add like two more sections to it. But you know. So now I'm going to uh, pleat the second strip. And what I'm gonna do is kind of use this first one as a guide to eyeball it so that I have the same number of pleats and everything's matching up the same way. So now to get on to that. So I know I really didn't record any of this process, uh, but that's because this process took forever and I hated it and it was boring and miserable and I would not do it again. I would find a different way to do this next time, but this is what I did and I stuck with it. It took forever but so now I have the tubes with the little pleating on it as you can see I have two and they are horrible and crooked and awful but I'm just I'm going with it because it helps make the costume look a little bit more lived in I think at least I'm hoping it will I'm hoping it'll make me look more disreputable and rebel scummy to not have perfect sleeves. Close to perfect, but not perfect, you know? You know? So now I'm gonna iron them again so that they're flat, and I have to pin them to the jacket, and then I have to go through the fun process of hand sewing. So I finally, finally got the little arm pieces sewn on and it really changes the entire look because now I feel satisfied with the absurd amount of pleating and stitching and hand sewing and stabbing myself with pins and burning myself with an iron that I did. So the only thing I have left to do on the jacket is I have to shorten it because Jen's jacket falls kind of like right at her waist right above the hip. I'm not making it totally screen accurate because I'm not doing the whole fold over flop part that it has if you look at the actual completed jacket uh, for two reasons. One, don't got time for that or the patience. And two, I'm never going to wear the jacket closed. 
I'm never even going to wear the jacket without the vest. So there's no point in putting the effort there when it won't be seen, when I can put that effort into other things like making the vest as perfect as possible and working on the pleats that have to go on her pants because I have to do more pleats for this project because it's pleats everywhere for Star Wars all the time. All the time. So now that the difficult part of the jacket, the sleeves, are done, I have to shorten it. So I have to take off a couple inches from the bottom and then I'm going to create a new band for the bottom of the jacket uh, out of the scrap where I'll just fold it over and sew it on because her jacket at the bottom has this little strip that goes around uh, the hem, but it doesn't connect up perfectly in the front. There's a gap, so I have to create a strip that'll go around the jacket, but isn't the entire length of the jacket. probably going to be really hard to see because it's dark blue fabric on dark blue fabric on black sweatpants and stuff, but we're going to figure it out. So what I'm doing for the hem of Jen's jacket, because it has that little bit of like an extra little strip at the end of the hem and then like a gap at the beginning, I'm just going to take from the fabric I cut off at the bottom, this pre-made hem here. And what I'm gonna do, lay, starting here, so I'll put, I'll pin it there, and I'll tuck just the edge, and I'll sew down like that, so that there will be this little band all the way around. So I did the first line of stitching, and now I'm just going back over it and doing a second row of stitching a little bit farther away, just for like a little added security. And I'm going to trim the excess fabric off, and that'll be the jacket. Done! Uh, as you can maybe see, I'm using my invisible zipper foot to sew this because I always use my invisible zipper foot for small detail things. I can get right up on the edge that I want to get on. I think technically I'm supposed to be using like a walking foot for these things, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. The jacket is done, 100%. I'm not doing a single other thing to it except maybe ironing it, like before I take like per like finished photos. But otherwise, done. It's shortened. I took I think eight and a half inches off and sewed on the 
the bottom edge so that it has that little detail. And I love it. I'm so happy with the jacket. It's kind of ridiculous. And it really is helping motivate me to work on the rest of the project because, to be honest, I was starting to feel a little defeated. But in the end, I got there. And I'm very happy with it. So yeah, next video, whenever, whatever that will be, will be on her shirt. I'm going to be using this Simplicity Pattern D0795. If you want more regular updates, you can check my sewing Instagram, which is Hexos. And if you're the type of person who's into blogs, I have a sewing blog. I did put a post up about this jacket. I will link that in the description as well. Uh, but yeah. Thanks.